with YouTube because of copy here. So we got a request from way back. This one is Jenny by Flood of the Concords. We did Business Time was the last one we did by them and that was hilarious. So I'm excited to see what they give us with this one. They got some nice comedy going. Way, thank you for your request. Other people have asked for this one too. So we're finally going to get it done for you guys. I'm excited to check it out for you. So this details an encounter between Jenny and a mysterious man who seems to remember none of it is what the description says. So this should be interesting. If you guys are new here, go ahead, subscribe for me. We talk about mental health, addiction, world issues, everything in between. Break down all of the lyrics inside of these songs. We got some comedy in this one. It's nice to get some comedy on the channel. We talk about a lot of serious things and important topics a lot, so to get some laughs in between every now and then is nice so i appreciate you sending this through way thank you guys for all of the support it means the world to me if you're struggling with mental health and addiction please go get yourself some professional help live a better life for yourself follow the advice that you're given inspire other people to do the same thing once you have pulled yourself out of it and you're into a better position it's something that really means a lot to me to say that on the channel every single day as someone who survived alcoholism and hard drug addiction. And it, it was a hell of a struggle. It was not easy to pull myself out of that. So I fully understand how difficult it is. And if you guys are struggling with that, please go get yourself some help and live a better life at the end of that. Right? You have to end it first, but you can live a better life afterwards. You can chase after things that you didn't think you were capable of doing. You'll be amazed the improvements that your life will have if you stop doing those things. And if it's mental health, go get yourself some counseling, some therapy. Figure out what is at the core of all of your issues and start to work on those things as well. If mental health is what you're dealing with, so... I appreciate you guys tuning in. We're going to get into some Flight of the Concords with you. Thank you again, Way, for sending this through. I'm Vacasa Kavi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Jenny by Flight of the Concords. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Uh, we're Flight of the Concords. Hey. That's right, yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is Brett and I'm Jermaine. We're from New Zealand and... Um, it's very um, exciting to be um, here in um, America. <laughs> Quite a buzz. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're actually very popular back in New Zealand. <laughs> Sitting in the park. I've just said hi. A woman in the park. Well, how you doing? Mm -hmm. Good, thanks. You're looking good. Pardon? I said you're looking good. Fair enough. Jenny. Pardon? Jenny. No, I'm sorry. I think you've mistaken me for some. No, it's me. I'm Jenny. <laughs> I gotcha. I gotcha. He thinks she's somebody else right now. The, the introduction's funny. The double hello. <laughs> that's something. I've seen that happen in real life before. I think that's probably definitely happened to me before. The double hi. <laughs> I've just said hi. He says woman in the park. I've just said hi. Woman in the park is funny. You're looking good, pardon. I said you're looking good enough, fair enough. Jenny says, pardon. Jenny, no, I'm sorry. I think you've mistaken me for somebody else. I like how they're, like, their unserious approach is what makes it so funny. Like, the deadpan way that they approach it. It's so sarcastic, and it's just, like, 
well thought out, especially the back and forth, making it a conversation piece between each other, each playing a part in the conversation. I like it. I like the approach so far. It's got that deadpan humor to it. Jenny. Pardon? Jenny. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I think you've mistaken me for somebody else. No, it's me. I'm Jenny. My name is Jenny. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm... <laughs> 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 um, I thought, oh, what a hilarious misunderstanding. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, Jenny. Oh, we've met before, quite a few times, actually. Oh, oh yes, of course we have. <laughs> I meant it was nice to meet you the time that I met you. Where was it that we met that time that I met you when I met you? At a <laughs> I like that. That's funny right there. So, no, it's me. I'm Jenny. My name's Jenny. Oh, you are? Whoops. He says, whoops. That's a misunderstanding. It's nice to meet you. She says, we've met before quite a few times, actually. Oh, yes, of course we have. I meant it was nice to meet you the time that I met you. Where was it that we met that time that I met you when I met you? <laughs> I like the wording. I like that. That's, cre that's a creative way to say that extensively, like to extend it out in that sarcastic, funny manner. I like it. I like the way they organized it. Party. That's right. Wasn't it one of those boring work parties? <laughs> no. That's why I said wasn't it. <laughs> it was the party of a mutual friend. Was it? Wasn't it? Was it? Wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yeah, I thought so. No. Bobby. No. Doug. No. D Dog. No. Maxwell. No. Andy. Yes, Andy. Yeah, Andy's party. <laughs> That's right. My God, knows a lot of people. <laughs> oh, Andy knows how to throw a party, doesn't it, Jenny? Yeah, I love Andy's party. Oh, I love Andy's party. <laughs> what crazy party? How is that guy anyway? She's good. Oh, that's right. Andy hates it when I forget that. <laughs> <laughs> the way this conversation's being played off, like the awkward fucking dialogue inside of this is golden. This is like, the conversations like this happen in real life all the time. This is, like, so true to the awkwardness of human communication in certain moments. And it always come out of nowhere, just like this song, right? Just sitting beside each other on a bench. And you, one person doesn't necessarily remember everything, but the other person does. It's fucking funny. He says it's at a party. That's right. Wasn't it one of those boring work parties? He says, she says, no. That's why I said, wasn't it? It was the party of a mutual friend. Was it, wasn't it, was it, wasn't it? <laughs> Yes, it was. And then we got Bobby's, Doug's, D Dog's, Maxwell's, All Knows, Andy's. Yes, Andy's. Andy's parties. Andy knows how to throw a party, doesn't he? And then she says, Yeah, I love Andy's parties. Love Andy's parties. What crazy parties? How is that guy anyway? Jenny says, She's good. <laughs> he says, Yeah, oh, well, that's right. Andy hates it when I forget that. <laughs> This guy playing it off in the dialogue is hilarious. I love it. This is funny. This is like classic humor right here. We watched a movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it was something like, but not necessarily Schindler's List. <laughs> We watched it and we wept. It was Police Academy 4. <laughs> we went for a walk. On our feet, if I remember correctly. 
We walk to the top of the hill and we ate yeah. sandwiches. Oh, we'd just grab a sandwich and put it in our mouths. Oh, that's the only way to have sandwiches. Oh, Jenny, tell me, do you still walk? Do you still get into sandwiches in a big way? I still walk a lot, but I'm not eating as many sandwiches as back then. cracks so the vocal cracks make it that much more funny he says <clears throat> who starts it in this next part okay jenny says we watched a movie yeah it was something and he says yeah it was something like but not necessarily schindler's list we watched it and we wept She says it was police academy four four is really specific Oh, man. I wonder who was in that. Who was in number four? I gotta look it up now. I'm curious. Who was in number four? Because I've seen the first one. And I may have seen the second one at some point. But I know I have not seen number four. This is... Okay, so it's Citizens on Patrol in 1987. Who was in this? Anybody that I've heard of before inside of this? No familiar big names that I can see on the cast. I just wanted to check. I was curious if I knew anybody that was in it. I have seen the first one, though. But yeah, the fourth one is the Citizens on Patrol movie. Maybe at some point I'll have to go through and watch all of the Police Academy movies because I haven't seen them all. But they were watching number four. Then they went for a walk, Jenny says. We went for a walk, he says, on our feet, if I remember correctly. That's fucking something I would say to somebody. <laughs> That's the kind of shit that comes out of my mouth in real human interactions. <laughs> I don't even mean to. I'm just that kind of person. I <laughs> I have that sarcasticness to me in real life. That that reminds me totally of some shit that I would say to somebody after they said something like we went for a walk. I'm the I'm the one that would say on our feet if I remember correctly. <laughs> Mostly because I spent a lot of time off of them for reasons that you guys obviously know. <laughs> She says, we walked to the top of the hill and we ate sandwiches. And he says, yeah, oh, we just grabbed a sandwich and put it in our mouths. That's the only way to have sandwiches. That's funny. I like that. I like how sarcastic and just like really true to life it is. Like it's not like over the top kind of humor. Well, business time was. Business time was very over the top. But this one's more like chill and deadpan to it when it comes to the approach on the humor in it. I like it. Just really silly jokes inside of this. That's the only way to have sandwiches, he says. Oh, Jenny, tell me, do you still walk? Do you still get into sandwiches in a big way? And she says, I still walk a lot, but I'm not eating as many sandwiches as back then. <laughs> That might be a good thing, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> the Do you remember what silence. we did up there at the top of the hill? Kind of. We were standing at the lookout. Oh, I remember exactly what we did at the lookout. We just looked. Across the city from a little spot on the hilltop. Oh, it's so pretty from way up there. <laughs> My guy's going through the stages of denial. <laughs> He's like, oh no. <laughs> what, what the fuck happened on this hill? <laughs> 
know how they say if you climb up a hill for yourself, you better be prepared to die on <laughs> That's the moment he's having right now. He's like, oh shit. <laughs> <coughs> it's too good. He just says, oh, awkwardly after that awkward silence. She says, do you remember what we did up there at the top of the hill? He says, kind of. We are standing at the lookout. He says, oh, I remember exactly what we did at the lookout. We just looked out across the city from our little spot on the hilltop. It's so pretty from way up there. Ah. <laughs> we still got more after this. Talk about how the lights from the buildings and cars Seem like reflections of the stars That shone out so pretty and bright that night It was daytime <laughs> The daytime of the night He said it so spicily. <laughs> oh, it's so sarcastic. You gotta fucking love it. We talked about how the lights from the buildings and cars seemed like reflections of the stars that shine out so pretty and bright that night. Now that's like that's romantic as fuck if he wasn't remembering everything. <laughs> That's really romantic, though, in a real-life situation. If you did that with somebody, that would be cute as fuck. That would be really cute to do with somebody. It's it's a different kind of vibe whenever you're up on top of, like, a mountain or a hillside, and you're looking down at the city from it at a when it's dark outside, and you really see all those lights just shining directly at you and everything. It's a different, like vibe inside of that scenario i've done that a few times it's really it's really fun it's really beautiful if you're in a place that has a nice overlook but the problem here is that it was daytime as jenny says he says the daytime of the night uh-huh <laughs> This guy can play off anything. That's that's the fucking thing about the masculine character inside of this dialogue. He has the ability to play off situations in a joking kind of manner with that sarcastic sort of smoothness to cover it up and mask it in the conversation. I love it. This is fucking funny. The daytime of the night. <laughs> Do you remember what you said to me? Not word for word, actually, Jenny. But I remember there were some verbs. <laughs> well, you said meet me here in one year. You just needed some time to clear your head. And you seem to have done that. <laughs> Like I forgot. <laughs> she says, do you remember what you said to me? He said, not word for word, but actually, Jenny, I remember there were some verbs. She said, well, you said meet me here in one year. You just needed some time to clear your head. And you seem to have done that. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Jenny's funny in this story. <laughs> Oh, man. I love it. I, I love the dryness to the humor. Dry humor and dark or deadpan humor is some of my favorite kind of humor. Dry pan, dark, and deadpan are my favorites, right? You gotta love it. They're really good at it. Like, you, you don't expect the style of humor that they're going to approach the songs with. It's very different. Like you have people that are really fucking off the cuff, like uh, Bo Burnham and like Tim Minchin, when it comes to stuff like this, they have their own like different kind of styling to how they approach the comedy inside of lyricism. And I like it. It's unique to them. <laughs> Ah, 
la 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 We have a child. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh boy. He did the la la la's like the I'm I'm tuning this out. I'm tuning this out. He says the denial. <laughs> the denial that was up above is now turned into la la la's. <laughs> we have a child. Pardon? We have a child. Crack. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me, Jenny? Why didn't you tell me that day when we went to the top of the hill and we made sweet? Oh, how we made such sweet, sweet sandwiches. Does it have my eyes, my way with words? Does it look like me at all? No, not at all, because we adopted him. I can't believe you don't remember. It was a very difficult process. <laughs> What is going on with this story now, though? <laughs> she says, we have a child, and he, he hit her with a pardon with that voice crack, like, what? <laughs> she says, we have a child. He says, why didn't you tell me, Jenny, why didn't you tell me that day when we went to the top of the hill and we made sweet, oh, how we made such sweet, sweet sandwiches, does it have my eyes? <laughs> My way with words doesn't look like me at all. No, not at all, because we adopted him. I can't believe you don't remember. It was a very difficult process. That's a hell of a thing to forget. <laughs> forgetting that you adopted something is fucking next level. That is next level, like, disregard. <laughs> Not at all, because we adopted him. I can't believe you don't remember. It was a very difficult process. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> uh, are you sure that was me, Jenny? Yes, I'm pretty sure it was you, John. I'm Brian. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh no, oh, no. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, don't worry. Oh, how embarrassing. Oh, don't worry, Jenny. Actually, I'm kind of relieved. <laughs> and that kind of thing just happens all the time. <laughs> I just got one of those faces, I suppose. So does John. <laughs> He's got one of those faces as well. Ha ha ha. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh god, you never know what to expect. Whenever it comes to stuff like this, the fucking awkwardness of realizing that both of them don't remember properly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Jenny out here talking about the wrong guy that she adopted a kid with. <laughs> oh man. So are you sure that was me, Jenny? Yes, I'm pretty sure it was you, Johnny. Says, um, oh my god. He says, that ain't me, sweetie, sorry. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry, no worries. No, that's terrible. Don't worry, how embarrassing. Love the dialogue. He says, oh, don't worry, Jenny. Actually, god. <laughs> they hit us with that funny fucking... <laughs> He did the, he did the he he, he did the fucking really he, I love it. <laughs> he says, oh, don't worry, Jenny, I'm actually kind of relieved. That kind of thing just happens all the time. I've just got one of those faces, I suppose. So, so does John. He's got one of those faces as well. Awkward laughter to close it out. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. uh, fucking funny, bro. I love it. <laughs> Funny. Think about it. We haven't done that one. Maybe we'll have to grab a hold of that one somehow. I like this. I enjoyed this. This was funny. Very funny. I really like this a lot. The Flight of Concords has this, like, distinct kind of humor to them, like I said, that's different than other comedy music you might hear, the other funny stuff that we listen to on here from time to time. 
they have a different kind of style that's like uniquely them. I like that about it. I like that they. I, I've never like really heard anything like it. Like they're, they're very unique to their own style. They're from New Zealand, I believe is what they said at the beginning. Yeah, New Zealand is where they're from. Very, very, like just straightforward kind of humor. It's true to like the way funny situations and conversation would go in real life. Like that business time song talking about the being being with somebody for a really long time and the way that the conversations start to go and how you've done so many things together and stuff like that in business time. Was obviously, that was really funny. I liked making that video. I enjoyed this one. It had, like I said, it has that deadpan style of humor to it. The very dry approach to it with the awkward conversation. And then you get to that fucking realization at the end that he's not the one that was forgetting at all. She was the one that remembered wrong and he thought he was someone else. I like the way they twisted it by the end of it. Funny here. Really funny approach to this. I like the way that they approach it and go back and forth with the conversation. Throwing in those voice cracks and funny, like, enunciations to resonate with what a real conversation would have inside of it. The little stutters of the voice, the nervous moments, the erratic, eclectic moments inside of it as well. Like, that really he was funny that he did that in the fucking high falsetto, jumped his voice up like that. I like it. I like their approach to this way. Thank you for the request. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm sure you guys probably love this song a lot. You guys love your comedy. And then that Think About It one, I'll have to put that on our list for Flight of the Concords for something to check out by them in the future. We got a lot of stuff to cover, a lot of different artists, artists we haven't even started yet for you guys and everything like that. So we got plenty to cover on here. Like I say in every video, if you struggle with mental health and addiction, go get yourself that professional help that's available. Dedicate to it. Build yourself back up. Learn how to live properly again. Help people on the other side of it and inspire them to do the same thing for themselves when they're struggling. Please. Go get help if you need it. Really, it will make your life so much better on the other side of things. The original video for this will be in the description. As always, subscribe to Flight of the Concords. Support the artists we have on the channel. I got an album dropping on Monday on the 2nd called Stranger Labyrinth. It's really deep. It's got a lot of personal stuff in it that I think can be relatable to people help people out to feel less alone i tell some of my personal story and real life experiences in it so go check that out for me as well if you're interested in that i'd really appreciate it we're gonna get out of here i'm vacasa coffee a reaction video a day keeps the doctor away fuck those apples leave a like for me comment those suggestions subscribe up this way bang that notification bell for me i'll see you guys in the next one i love you so much thank you for everything y'all have a blessed night peace